What's up YouTube? I'm going to show you how to route the SMG900V real quick. So first you're going to want to press the power, home button, volume down, all at the same time. And you'll get that. This is the Samsung Galaxy S5 for Verizon by the way. Put it into download mode by pressing the volume up. And plug it into the computer. Uh, now, sorry, I try to keep the uh, phone in the video at all times, but it's kind of hard when you're using one hand, so you have to get over it. Alright, so here we go. Now we're going to open Odin. This is version 3.12.7. And I'm going to show you how to get that while this is downloading. Okay, I've downloaded the combination file which you can get from XDA site or you can get from uh, just get it from XDA site anyways I'm gonna go ahead and upload it to show you how press the AP button you're gonna go to desktop well I'm going to desktop you don't have to do that shit sure just find it wherever you put it then we're gonna go to this right here so that's the file you're looking for the EMC 15 brute bootloader unlock plus S5 QB2 QB1 now the combination and it takes a second to upload and once it does right there you just hit start but I'm looking right here and it says leave CS and people I hear people all the time what is this I don't know what should I do let me show you what you should do you should hit start and it's pretty simple And you'll see the same thing going on here. And you can watch your progress here. Or you can watch your progress here. <laughs> it's really quite simple. Um, okay, so now I'm not going to watch this whole thing. You know, either it goes uh, red and says fail immediately, usually, or it goes white and it goes blue after it's almost done with saying reset and then green to start. Okay, now, or to success. Now I'm going to go here. And show you how to get the combination file. You're gonna to go to XDA and XDA developers official site. I just I don't know I have the link already, so I'm just gonna type in what I know will find it. Uh, let's see SM G nine zero zero V and then space C I D space fifteen space root. Okay, now scroll down, and this is the one. Second one from the top. Look here. Okay, well, it's not the one. It just says, and I would like to install. We'll go back, get the right one. So maybe it was this one here. CID, oh, that's at 11. Okay, so I'm looking for CID 15, not 11. And you might have CID 11. Um, there's a way to check it, and it would be on this page, so. I, don't, I think they must have, uh... You know what, I'm just going to throw the link in the description. This thing is done with the firmware flash. And I, I'm just going to continue on to the route. It's pretty simple. Okay. Now, I'm done with that. And I'll tell you this... So, that file that I was looking for, and I showed you guys, well, I got it from a zip file, which is the one that you'll get from the link in the description. And <clears throat> once you um, you have that file, you make sure that you have moved that to your SD card. And I'll also uh, put, I have to edit this video to tell you to do that in the beginning. But, here we go. So, first thing we do is go to my files, and we're going to go to all... And then we're going to go to the memory card where I put it. And if you didn't put it in the memory card, that's fine. You can just move it over to your main storage. Um, this right here. Okay. I'm not clear on this, to tell you the truth. But I've done it and it didn't work. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to move it over to my device storage just to be sure. Because I don't know what it is, but there's something with this process. 
where there's a, some kind of flaw. And so I just try to make sure that I ex cover every little s step and possibility I can. That way I don't have to sit there and troubleshoot for hours. I know that if I got both of these zip files extracted in both of these separate locations, then I'm going to be able to ensure that if I do this, then that's not a, uh, at all an option. So we're going to extract it here to storage under emulated. Emulated. And it's taking longer than I like. Oh, I was about to give up too. <laughs> All right, cool. I have very little patience. Okay, now we're gonna go back and go to the SD memory, and we're gonna extract this one as well. Now, I'm gonna show you this real quick. Uh, okay, so. In this particular link, it's also going to tell you to download a certain ROM, which you should be putting in your SD card now or in your storage, whatever. I don't like that ROM, so I'm going to go and get a custom ROM, which I like Reso, was it Resurrection Remix. Yeah, something that's it. It's been a while since I've done this. Okay. Resurrection Remix. Um, I usually go to SourceForge to get the download, but I like to before I even get to SourceForge, I like to type in my model number. I don't know why I didn't do that first, but this just ensures that I'm gonna go straight to the page that I'm getting the download from. So, and sometimes I go to XDA to get to SourceForge, but I figured if I just click this, I could go straight to SourceForge. It might even not be called SourceForge. I haven't even ever heard somebody say it, so I might be wrong. I don't go there a lot. This is actually probably one of the three times I've been there. Um, hmm. well, we're still waiting on the extraction, so this can take me a second. If I'll... Verizon, safe shop installed, but only runs the. Oh, come on, guys. Help me out here. I just want to... Really? Oh, my goodness. Okay, I can go back to this. Let me back. I don't need to know how to do it. I just want to get it. Uh, you know, whenever you go to SourceForge, let's see, downloads. Um, download now for the latest releases. I'm pretty sure under this specific phone or any S5, it's going to be under KLTE right there. Okay, so. Oh, um, now you now you look for your SMG or whatever model you have, I'm pretty sure. No? Huh. PRN version 5. Kite official zip. Okay. So these are just a different model. Oh, this, will, this will have to work. This is the latest for this phone. Which it, it should be good with any carrier. Um, I mean you guys will see if it works or not. So just watch the whole video before you try it yourself. Okay, you want to save this uh, to my desktop right here. And finally, the other thing is extracting. Almost done. So we got some progress here. And we're at 32% on the operating system. So everything's going pretty good so far. Just hope that uh, I just hope that this actually goes through because man, I swear I've had retarded problems with this. I couldn't even begin to understand this specifically because 
I rooted the phone first, and then, you know, had no problem. Did it the first time I did it? Nothing. Flew through it. And then, so the second time, I unrooted it, and I didn't really know what I was doing when I unrooted it. So, I thought I was just going to go through it real fast. Probably made, like, 20 videos I had to delete. It was annoying. I didn't get any of them done. But, so, this one should be good. Let's hope. Alright, so we're going to go to this thing here, and we're going to root S5. Now, uh, just know that whenever we install these, we're not going to open them afterwards. We're going to hit done, okay? So first I'm going to install Apex Launcher. And this is going to get rid of that stuff you see on... Uh, I'm going to go and un or click Unknown Sources real quick. But <clears throat> that's going to get rid of that yellow stuff you see on the home screen. Okay, now... Whoops. Now I can do Apex Launcher. install and this one is the only one that we're going to open immediately so open it it takes the home screen yellow stuff's gone awesome so press the home button one time and we're going to hit apex launcher always okay and now let me get this right oh i got the camera all messed up okay so now we're going to go to the files again and we're going to install super user or super sesu whatever you want to call it and we're going to hit done and we're going to go to busy 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 box and we're going to install and we're going to hit done and then we're going to go to okay super user did that now i'm going to do this one right here install and hit done and now we're going to go to tau root you know what fuck my life I was supposed to do this one first make it right in no I wasn't supposed to do that one. okay that's good I'm good I'm good Please ensure you're connected to the internet. I'm importing the desktop. Okay, now make sure it's connected to the internet, which it is not. Anonymous. Hmm, number 0991190. Connect. And back. And. Don't show this again, okay? Thank you, appreciate it. Go back to Tower Room, we'll make it rain, see if we can get some success. And it says, oh, well, that's because I have to install it with the we want version 2. I'm going to do all and install and hit done. I um, mean, I shouldn't hit done. <laughs> Let's do this one more, one more again. Alright, open. Make it rain. Thank you for using Tau Root. You should have root. No reboot required. That's so nice. We really appreciate that, Mr. White Hat Hacker. Alright. <clears throat> now, what to do? Uh, here's the EMMC CID checker. So when they say CID number, that's the thing you use to check yours. It's either 11 or 15, which is 11 is the Toshiba chip, seven, or 15 is the Samsung. I might have that come backwards, but, you know, whatever. I don't care. Now we're going to go to your applications. Here we go. And files and root S5. And we're going to open up soup. Well, am I going to do super user? Man, it's been a while. Yeah, I'm going to open that one first. Oh, yeah. It should be an app if I've already installed it. That's correct. So we're going to go to files. Now, why did I say files? We're going to go to apps. You know what, it might not have took the downloads because it wasn't rooted first. Should be here. Yeah, here we are. Okay, now we can go to super user. And the binary needs to be update. Continue. And we're going to do normal. And... Let's... You guys can't even see that. Oh, okay. The light was too light. I wonder how long that's been going on. This is pretty cool. little process. I, I mean... I really don't like the fact that it's super long, don't get me wrong, that's kind of annoying, but <clears throat> the good news is, no thanks, the good news is, uh, 
you know, it works for sure. And you get a custom bootloader, so that's always nice. Alright, and then also, we're going to grant the permission. Alright, we're going to exit out of that. It, you know, also you get to uh, experience the whole process and have, you know, a little bit more knowledge on some of these apps and how to actually use them. Um, but, I mean, really, you know, you can't expect everything in life to be easy. So, this will give you some appreciation for the future roots as well. Uh, I mean, this is, what, 2017, and I'm doing a root video for the Samsung S5. But, I gotta start somewhere. <laughs> I just started making these videos this year, and I've been studying all year. Honestly, before 2017, I didn't even know how to work on a computer nothing like I knew how to do eBay that was it <clears throat> so this year I've been studying as hard as I can every day and uh, you know it's just it's been a journey but I, I mean I could pretty much fix any computer I mean if I can't fix it I can read about it and find out but like there's not very many problems I can't fix on Windows and uh, Apple the only thing I have problems with is like I got a I got a MacBook right now man this thing I, I don't matter which version of iOS X I put on there it will not take the install. I don't know what it is. And so I'm gonna have to teach myself how to do a firmware update manually I guess. Which I thought I could just restore the you know everything with the base version. It didn't work. So that's one problem I can't get past and another one is like iPad Air 2 got one. This is basically the same thing. It's not taking the firmware update but uh you know, I just don't know how to get around that. Like, I think I have to just reformat the hard drive. Okay, this is too long. I re re reformat the hard drive with uh, something like a, you know, uh, what's that called? SATA cable. That should work. I'm going to go back to BusyBox and just to make sure it's done. Exit, exit, install, uninstall. If I get the uninstall button, then I'm good. Okay, so now we're going to go to Safe Trap. We are going to grant, and we are going to agree, and we're going to install recovery. And there's one more step, I don't remember exactly what it is. I think I'm forgetting something. I'm just going to go check. Uh, let me make sure USB debugging is on. About phone, build number, seven times you tap it. And let's go back. Developer options, now it's open. USB debugging is on, that's good. Security, we got unknown sources. Yes, we did that earlier. Uh, you just want to be kind of sure that everything's done right, because if it's not done right, well, you're going to be pissed that you did all this for no reason, like I had been. Alright, so. Oh, yes, this is what I forgot. We're going to go to here, my files. And we're going to go to all SD. This is extracted. Go back. Device storage. This is extracted. Okay, well, maybe I didn't forget nothing. Check it out. Let's do this and go back to safe strap and reboot to recovery. Bada bing, bada boom. We're in there. You guys should have a nice little custom bootloader ready to go. This is gonna be great. Oh yeah. See then that's that's what I'm talking about. I love this. Okay, so here's twerp. We're gonna slide this over. Oh yeah, that's what I forgot to do, which I can do it right here now. But I forgot to uh move over my custom ROM that I just downloaded. So let's just see how that's doing with the computer. I'm go see I, I usually don't use uh Microsoft Edge, but I had to install Chrome, so don't judge. Okay, it's done. So I'm done with all that. I'm just going to close all these tabs out. I'm over these tabs. And now I am going to... I'm moving it over with Twerp. I'm going to move it over to Twerp, I mean. And then I am going to use Twerp to flash the firmware. So, basically, this is super, super simple. Um, you know what? Damn. Okay, I have to reroute it after I put this ROM on. So, I'm going to try you guys have gained my trust and if I knock this thing out of the video you guys are just going to click off and hey like and subscribe please I'm doing bad on the subscribe 
subscriptions. <laughs> I have no subscribers. So help a brother out. I appreciate it. Uh, anyway, so I'm still over here trying not to get that out of the video. <laughs> Look, my biggest reason for not getting out of the video is, is I've watched a whole bunch of FRP videos to figure out how to do the FRP unlock. And I've literally probably seen 170 or 80 of them that have absolutely no progress or no the, the, the whole video is just like a waste of time and you could tell and like the, you'll be like a flash or something real quick and they've like switched it out with another phone or something you know that's not frp locked so it's just like i, I mean i try to do it for verification not this in any purposes oh what am i doing i'm putting that shit up okay now i'm going to have to get my sis any file open, whatever. I forgot what I was doing for a second. I forgot. Um, here we go. Now, desktop. Oh, I guess I should be showing you over here, huh? Okay. So, I'm just going to move over this file. And yeah, this is taking me a long time. I fall. I think it's because I'm trying to talk and I'm trying to record at the same time. I'm definitely not uh, multi track minded. So, bear with me. F uh, oh, here it is. Okay, I just moved the whole file. I don't even have to extract it yet. And I... I see, I don't know exactly where I should be putting this. this internal storage? I'm going to just assume it's internal storage, right? Let's go with internal storage. Just to be safe, because I feel like if I, we extract it and we try to... Flash it, it should you know better done in a separate memory space, and then again, it may not. So, I'm going to do both there, you know, once again, making sure that I'm covering every aspect. And I don't know why it does this progress bar and then nothing, and then when it's done, zoom, like that's probably a problem with my computer or something. Okay, well, I'm gonna go over here real quick um, we're going to wipe advanced wipe this this system yeah I mean there might be cache we'll wipe that after we're done anyway fuck now I gotta go check uh, you know what it might not be taken it might not be mounted that's why it's not moving, because the progress bar is not moving still. I'm just going to make sure it's mounted real quick. Mounts. Micro SD internal storage direction USB O2G. I mean, that shouldn't. Mount USB storage. Ah. Uh, okay, that's what I needed to do. Right, now we're going to put it in this CD drive. <laughs> Whatever. I don't even know what mount USB drive does. Obviously it turns my thing into a CD. So. What in the fuck? Uh, how, what the fuck? I don't know. Okay, let me mount the micro USD card then. There we go. Oh, it's full. We'll do internal storage. Fuck, it don't matter which one, I guess. Where is that little zip file at? There it is. And if you're not gonna... I can understand this one not going because it has too much going on over there, but... What the fuck, really? Now we got see that's the issues I hate. Always something. Always something. I don't understand like 
we'll do an advanced wipe real quick. System cache, uh, dev link, and I don't want to wipe that yet. Yes, BOTG. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know if I should do cash. That's really. Who gives a shit, right? Okay. Now. Let's try it on this. Let's try to unplug it and replug it back in. You guys can play for two seconds and trust me. Get over it. Okay, now I'm getting a good indication that it's going to work, so let's see. Um, I figured you guys spent enough th this much time, you should trust it. Copy and replace for sure, and I'm sure that didn't go over correctly. Alright, bam, it's, it's moving. So look, this is this is good news. I will be able to install the custom ROM, and if you've made it this far, uh, you, honestly, you've already, you got, you know, you rooted your phone, you downloaded, or downgraded your firmware, you, uh, you have freaking unlocked your bootloader, like, you've installed twerp, you're good to go, you can do any, uh, ROM you want, okay, now, what we're gonna do here is go to install, and we're gonna put it, uh, select storage, and I'm going to go to in. Hmm. Internal storage. Okay. All the way at the bottom. PRN. And I am going to swipe to confirm flash. Yep. All right. And then when it's done, we don't want to just automatically reboot. So what we want to do is, I'll show you. We're just going to wipe the cache and then reboot. And look, and if this doesn't work, I don't, I don't, honestly, I'm not going to go through any troubleshooting steps with you on here because it's already a 27 minute video. But I'm just letting you know if you if you haven't twerp installed, like you you've unlocked your bootloader, so you've come like almost as far as you would ever need to go. Alright, now we're going to go back, and we're going to go back again, we're going to wipe, advanced wipe, cache, and we're going to, I'm just going to reboot my system now, sure, you can install twerp, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, I'm going to have to uh, figure it out myself, so, I'm not going to do it and make it a 40 minute video. I, I honestly, I was I was going to make it real fast, like I was going to speed through like, you know, the loading points and stuff like that, but YouTube tells us that, you know, the longer our videos are, the better chance we have, uh, or the higher they put our uh, video on the search results, and you know, more people see it. So, yeah, so we got a kernel panic. Obviously, it's not working correctly, um, but my bootloader is customized, and I could care less because all I have to do now to try to wipe another one is hold the volume down, power, and the home button, which it's hard to do when you're videotaping. And so, once you do that, you've got yourself back in recovery mode. Uh, or I'll put myself in a download mode and retarded. Okay, uh, we're not gonna do that. Okay, I didn't even hold up to do it. I just want I just turn it on regular, and then you hit recovery with the safe strap option that pops up, like you've seen, and this will allow me to boot back into Twerp. See what I mean? And so then you can go from there and you can try to install your recovery, how, you know, if you have a problem with it, which mine, it might have been just where I got it from, but, you know, this is, this is as far as you'll ever need to get. If you, if you can unlock a bootloader, you can install a ROM, it's super simple, and 
<clears throat> you might have a couple of tr you know troubles or trial and error or whatever but if you do let me know uh and i'll i'll make another video on how to do this or update it you know something anyways thank you guys for watching my video on how to downgrade to kitkat for the smg 900 v then root the phone and unlock the bootloader installing twerp thank you Over.